Education Society Redefining Excellence Hello everybody myself Muzumle Devraj I am studying in Jhil Polytechnic Nare Department of Civil Engineering Today I am present my group mini project of the subject Mathematics The project done by Karan Laudia Ran Singh Rupesh and me The project guided by Professor Padwal sir The title of the project is Prepare models using the concept of differential equations for ratio carbon decay. Content First differential equations, second radioactive decay, third the math behind radioactive decay, fourth relating the half life to the decay constant. Differential equations Carbon 12 is a stable but carbon 14 which is produced by cosmic bond Bombardment of nitrogen in the upper atmosphere is radioactive with a half life of nitrogen in the upper atmosphere is radioactive with half life of about 5570 years leave assume that the quantity of carbon 12 is the atmosphere has been constant throughout time that the time quantity of radioactive carbon 14 achieve its steady state will long ago as a result of its creation and decomposition lead libi to conclude that the ratio of carbon 14 to carbon 12 has been nearly constant for a long time living cells absorb both carbon 12 and carbon 14 in the proportion in which they are present in the proportion in which they are present in the environment therefore the ratio of carbon 14 to carbon 12 in a living for reach always however when the cell dies at recess to absorb carbon and ratio of carbon 14 to carbon 12 decreases radioactive decay in nature there are a large number of atomic nuclei that can be spontaneously emit elementary particles of nuclear fragment such a phenomenon is called radioactive decay this effect was studied at the turn of 1920 centuries by by Antoine Bequer, Bequerel Marie, Marie Paper Curie Frederick Sodi Ernest Rutherford and other scientists as a result of the experiments of F Sodi and E Rutherford derived the radioactivity decay law which is given by the differential equations where n is the amount of radioactive material in a positive constant depending on the radioactive substance the minus sign in the right side means that the amount of the radioactive material n t decreases over time as it can be seen the half life t and the average life time t and the average life time t are related to each other by the formula t is equal to t in 2 is equal to 0.639t these two parameters vary widely for different substances for example the half life of polonium 212 is less than 1 microsecond but the half life of thorium 232 is more than 1 billion years the half life or half life period t was radioactive material is the time required to decay to one half to the initial value of the material hence at the moment t t first the given below the formula for the half life follows from here the average lifetime of a radioactive atom is given by t is equal to 1 upon lambda the given equations is easy to solve and the solution has the form the given below to determine the constant c it is the necessary to indicate an initial value if the amount of the material at the moment t is equal to 0 was n 0 then the radioactive decay law is written as the following reaction further we introduce two useful determinants that follow from the given law the half life or half life period t was radioactive material is the time required to decay to one half to the initial value of the material hence at the moment t t first the given below the formula for the half life follows from here the average lifetime of a radioactive atom is given by t is equal to 1 upon lambda 
as it can be seen the half life t and the average lifetime t are related to each other by the formula these two per par parameters vary widely for different substance for example the half life of polonium 212 is less than i microseconds but the half life of thorium 232 is more than 1 billion years a wide range of isotopes with different half lives was through from the atomic reactors and cooling puts the pulling puts the chernobyl i and fulcanism disturbs figure 2 the math behind a radioactive decay this page derives the basic equation of radioactive decay the equation allow, allows us the figure out of how many radioactive atoms are left after any amount of time there are many general forms of the equations that deal with chains and nucleus but there we only worry about the basic warning there is a little bit of calculus calculus involved relative the half life time of the decay constants excellent the final equation here is the well known radioactive decay equation but what should we use for you may have heard of the concept of half life t 1 half or it's then the time it takes for a batch of radioactive atoms to decay away example the time it takes for a batch of t 1 half lifetime atoms to decay away example the lifetime of half the atoms n the no is equal to 0 atoms and calculate it takes for this drop to the following below plug in desired values and t is equal to t upon 1 upon 2 the reaction is following below takes the in both sides in 2 t1 upon 2 obtain expression for versus half life time the reaction following below as a visual examples how nucleid propulsion change with different half lives take a look at the figure below all nuclei start out which 100% of their atoms have always believe that life is a full of wonderful opportunities and learning experience thank you